So you understand that capturing SOPs or standard operating procedures, the instructions to the processes in your business is the key to unlocking delegation and having your agency be able to scale. But you have hundreds and hundreds of SOPs to capture and little time to do it. In this video, I want to give you my four tips for writing SOPs faster and how you can turn this task from an impossible feeling heavy lift to something much more within your own grasp. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Sam. I'm a certified Notion consultant and process expert, and I help agency owners go from unorganized chaos to systematized order using Notion. So my first tip is to record whatever SOP you're trying to capture using a Loom video, and then to take that Loom video and put the transcript into ChatGPT to spit out the SOP for you. So to do this, of course, you'll wanna have to download Loom. You'll probably need to upgrade to one of their premium plans because they only give you five minutes of recording time with their free version. And as you're recording this Loom video, what you wanna make sure to do is to actually voice the key steps in the process. So I know when you're recording on the Loom video, you may be sharing your screen and walking it through things that way. But if you're not actually saying the thing, it's not gonna show up in the transcript for you to then put into ChatGPT. So make sure you're voicing aloud what you're actually doing as you walk through the steps. Once you've done that, you can actually find the transcript within Loom itself. They create a transcript using AI um, uh, from your video. And so you can take that and just copy and paste it. Once you have the transcript copy and pasted, you can put it into ChatGPT. And then I would recommend you to uh, send it with the following prompt. Please summarize this transcript into its broad steps. Make the writing clear and understandable. Define any terms that aren't common knowledge. Hopefully the following prompts will help ChatGPT take your transcript and turn it into something that can then be added to your SOP. Of course, it might not be perfect the first time. You might need to adjust this prompt or you might want to edit what it um, gives you in its final send. So my second tip is less of a technical hack in using AI or something else to write your SOP for you and more of a philosophical uh, strategy that I take when I'm writing SOPs for other clients. And that is that you should always get the expert to write the SOP for you. So what does this mean? The expert is essentially whoever the person who does the process or the task on a day-to-day -day basis. They are the person that are actually performing the task, they are completing it, um, and they know the ins and outs of the process. Most agencies see SOP writing as the responsibility of the management team and deliver overwritten and inaccurate SOPs from the top down. In most cases, this is the exact wrong strategy for SOP writing. While the management team might want to initiate the SOP writing process, the writing of the SOPs is really getting into the weeds of a given process. And so it is much more effective to have the person who is performing the process day in, day out, actually complete the writing process. So delegate the SOP writing to your junior team and get the SOP writing task off your plate. If you're worried about staff taking this on for themselves, or you need to be able to review what they've written, we've got something for you in our next step. Use the power and capabilities of Notion to capture your SOPs. And I've got a company wiki template that you can actually download from the video description below. Um, but the reason this is powerful is because of Notion's database template feature. So walking through this page now, you can see we have a basic company wiki and at the top, we've just got some must read items, but then we've actually got this company wiki database itself. And alongside being able to store things like vision and policies and benefits, we've got the processes and SOPs inside here. And so using Notion's database templates, we can actually create a SOP template to help our staff with the writing process. So along with some lovely metadata that lets us track the um, current status of the writing of the SOP, what department it falls within, who is ultimately accountable by their company role, not by the person, which basically means that if someone's to leave, the SOP isn't tied to them, it's tied to the role who is responsible for it and then write a reviewer. Amongst all of that great information to capture, we have a guide for the person writing SAP to follow. And so just to walk you through it, at the very top of the page, we have context, which is essentially just trying to find out when does this SAP happen? How long does it take? Who's involved? Is it on a recurring basis or is it something that is only triggered by something else? 
Um, and then what is the desired outcome? How do we know that once we've completed this task, we've done it correctly? So that's all the context part of this SOP template. Then we have the step-by-step -step procedure. So we have the broad outline steps in the, um, the, actual, the actual titles of these toggles. And then we can toggle these toggles down and give any additional details as you can see um, uh, so we can uh, outline and make this 100% crystal clear. We also have a video overview. So if we did capture that Loom video, we can embed it in here. I've actually started to go away from Loom videos when I'm writing SOP or when I'm helping clients with SOP writing. And the reason for that is um, making the SOP editable is uh, quite important. So if you add a Loom video, you might have the time and resources to do that now. But if the process changes in the future, have you got the energy, have you got the resources to then edit the entire Loom video? Whereas it's a lot more easier to actually edit the writing of an SAP itself rather than an entire video. And then finally, we have a section here for any related resources, whether that's guides, whether that's links to online articles, um, and then also a spot for definitions. So if there's anything that we've written in here that isn't general knowledge, let's define that. So whoever is reading this SOP for the first time has complete understanding of what has been said. And then my final step is to make SOP writing an iterative task and to write in 15 minute installations. So this is more of a mindset shift and hopefully this is to um, unburden you from uh, the sort of emotional attachment you have to SOP writing being this really um, arduous task that takes hours and hours to do. And is trying to encourage yourself and your team to see SOP writing as something that can be done in short bursts and that can be iterated upon and improved upon over time. So using that Notion template that we have set up, here's how I would do that. So for the first 15 minutes, I would just make it the task that I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna capture the broad outline steps of this process. So I'm just gonna say step one, this is what happens. Step two, this is what happens. Step three, up to normally about seven or eight steps what are the broad steps for this process? That should take around 15 minutes. And then the next time I come to this SOP and I want to make improvements upon it, what I would then tackle is adding some context to the SOP. So what is the trigger? Is, this, is there a duration to this? Does it recur or is it got a frequency attached to it? And what's the desired outcome? And then within the broad steps, I would toggle these down and add any additional details that I want to add. And again, I'm only spending about 15 minutes on this. And then finally, on my third edit of this SOP, I could come in here and add things to the related resources and the definitions. And then within 45 minutes, I've created a full SOP that is nice and detailed, but hasn't taken too long to write. And I've been able to do in installments. The added advantage of using this Notion template is we can use the review feature to walk us through that process. So we can track when someone's written um, uh, an edit and then when someone has reviewed the edit. So we can always maintain the accuracy of this SAP, make sure that it's been reviewed by more than one person um, and, and make sure that the SAP is ready to go once we eventually publish it um, uh, for uh, company-wide use. So again, if you'd like to make use of my Notion template, you can use the link down below to download it. And if you're interested in systematizing your agency, you might wanna check out my video here, which is my three-step guide to how to systematize your agency. If you found this video useful, please do consider subscribing and liking this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.